My name is Ellie. Welcome to my studio vlog. I'm a beginner painter from Latvia. I've been only painting for a couple of years now and I'm exploring all the possible abstract ways of making art. And uh, I'm excited because I'm, I've am i started working on a large painting which is here behind me. I will show you what I'm planning to do and what I've did so far. Uh, I'm excited to finish this big boy. Um, I've been not so productive lately because of the school break and my son is here with me at home so the schedule is pretty crazy. I pop in and out of my studio whenever I have time and I will try to capture some snippets of my creative process in this vlog. I hope it will be interesting to watch and I will show you what I'm working on right now. So here's what I'm working on. It's a very large canvas and the idea is to fill the whole figure with these sparkly dots that I'm creating with a special structure paste which is called um, crystal something. I will show you how it looks like this. It's ice crystal paste and I've just ordered some more so I can fill up the whole figure because I was running out of it. And it really takes patience, but I'm super excited to see the end result. I hope it will be as fantastic as I am imagining it. And I will share the end result with you as well. I haven't painted in my sketchbook for a while. I was working on a large canvas and I missed just playing around intuitively. So I grabbed some colors that I don't normally use as much. I wanted to challenge myself with a limited palette and also colors that I would probably struggle to use. And I just created this background at first. I layered all the colors down to make a harmonious background where all the colors are present. And the idea was to work on top in different ways so that all the colors are harmonized and together and create this beautiful harmony. And as you can see, I'm just grabbing the paint straight out of the out of the tube and applying it on top and I'm mixing it together also right on the paper and then I'm beginning to make different marks using some tools and different brushes. I'm adding lines and also adding different figures and dots to create a harmonious piece that looks really aligned and beautiful together. I'm really not thinking what I'm doing. I'm just trying to create some difference, some interest build kind of uh, this scene, this picture. I don't have anything in my mind particular. I'm just playing around and doing whatever feels right. I'm trying to make different shapes and use different colors all the time and also looking at light and dark so there are values as well. I'm playing with uh, different brush strokes, different brush sizes. Sometimes I use really thin and uh, delicate brushes. Sometimes I'm, I'm picking larger brushes and I'm really going with the flow and just trying to see what I like and what I don't like and trying to build this harmony for my eye that I would enjoy watching and looking at. And yeah, I'm just covering uh, dark colors with something light and then adding light on the darker colors and it really builds this interesting uh, looking abstract piece and I'm really excited to remove the tape to see the end result and I'm not sure if I'm very much in love with the end result but it was a fun practice it was very loose and it really helped me to skip the fear of the blank page and just enjoy myself while I, while I have some free time for myself and my sketchbook. And I'm really excited about the process. It really helped me free my mind a little. <laughs> The 
there's another thing that I want to share with you. I now have an absolute artist crush on an artist. Uh, I will show her profile to you, her Instagram profile with her paintings. This is an absolute crush, crush, crush for me. When I came across her profile on Instagram, I was obsessed. I love everything about what she does, the diversity of her works. Uh, the color palettes that she uses are sometimes crazy bright and sometimes so calm and it really hit home for me. It felt very much like what I would love to create someday and the uh, dotted patterns, textures that I'm now uh, incorporating into my work are pretty much inspired by her and I'm not trying to copy what she does. I feel like whatever I try to make will never be as good as hers or anything like hers. It's my style, my kind of way of doing things, but she has expired in, expired, inspired me so much that I just was super excited and I even shared her profile with my friend and with my husband I was like look look what she does do you see it looks amazing when you look on it like from a distance and you also can come closer and see all the beautiful textures and all the dots and all the hard work she does and yeah it was mind-blowing to me I hope that someday my art would be would be as satisfying to me as what I see she does so i just wanted to share this with you guys if you can if you like what she does give her a follow i feel like she's super amazing artist i'm so excited i came across her profile this large canvas of mine and I just wanted to mention that this is super tiring to add all the dots like my hand is hurting already from squishing the tiny bottle and it's also pretty dangerous to let my cat come close to this uh, thing because he might crash all the dots and also add a lot of hair in here so this really takes a lot from me tomorrow and I wanted to make her a surprise little painting so I did this little textured thingy which symbolizes her and her boyfriend and I will explain her the meaning and I think it turned out to be really cute it has writings all over it all we need is love and it basically symbolizes the love they have for each other and I'm really excited about it. As an outro for this video, I thought I would talk a little about this large painting that I just finished. It was actually very hard for me. It took a lot of patience and determination. Um, and I feel like when mentally times seem to be a little challenging, 
it's really a good idea to do some repetitive movements like adding these dots. And my idea was to create something that would be interesting to look at from far and also uh, fascinating to see when you come closer. Here's Lelik, as usual, my assistant. And I wanted to portray something like a challenge between uh, man and woman actually the pink figure is the female figure and uh, the blue boulder Lurlik, stop moving my hand and the blue boulder is the male figure in this case and the male figure uh, is positioning itself as um, something that she can rely on like she's literally standing on him and he has all the rough uh, textures like he seems to be very um, rough and uh, rugged in a way and she's more delicate and glamorous with all the uh, shiny dots and more intricate I guess and also more bright because she's more emotional she shows her emotions and he keeps it to himself and they live together harmoniously even though they are so different. I guess this is the meaning that I was trying to put into this large painting. And the idea was to create something that would feel really interesting and, um, I don't know, fascinating and loved by me myself without thinking much about trying to sell it or find the ideal client for this kind of painting. I'm not sure I would even want to sell it. I'm not sure what price tag I could put on it because it took me a lot of effort to complete. complete. And yeah, I just feel tired of doing this repetitive stuff already and I would love to switch to my uh, more freestyle kind of sketchbook routine. So I'm looking forward to this in the upcoming days yeah i hope this vlog was interesting to watch as you can see i'm pretty tired overall i'm struggling with anxiety and stuff so i just wanted to wish you creative productive time and lots of inspiration bye <laughs>